Hi, I'm Barry List of Informs, and you're watching uh, one in a series of, of shows that we're doing about uh, Inform scholarly journals. We're here today with uh, Michel Jandreau, the Editor-in-Chief of Transportation Science. And let me begin by asking, tell us a little bit about uh, what your journal is, uh, uh, what its special place is uh, in the publishing world. Well, Transportation Science uh, focuses, well, not surprisingly, on transportation transportation, transportation of uh, people, transportation of goods, also logistics. In fact, this is uh, the journal of the transportation, sci uh, transportation and logistics uh, society. So um, it covers pretty much everything in connection with uh, transportation and logistics. Our viewers will include people who are interested in publishing in uh, transportation science. What's your philosophy? How do you look at uh, the way that you edit your journal? Well, transportation science is, uh, I think, uh, obviously the transportation part is obvious. What is maybe less obvious is the science part. What do we see as being science? Well, we are interested in papers that uh, advance the state of knowledge with respect to methodology for planning and managing transportation. So we want to, uh, to look at papers that will propose maybe models for planning transportation, uh, algorithms for managing or operating transportation systems, and uh, and I would say maybe studies about uh, things like uh, transportation demand and related topics. Uh, however, maybe one thing which is important is that uh, the methodological side of things is really important. We like to see papers where there's a, a clear methodological contribution. If people just want to apply uh, known methods or to or make I, w I would say um, descriptive studies transportation science is not the good journal and uh, as you look back on the many papers that you've published are there is there one paper that stands out that you're especially proud of or a group of papers or an area that uh, uh, you look back on and you smile uh, upon my own papers? Uh, the ones you've accepted, we can talk about your papers as well. Uh, upon the papers I've accepted, uh, I, I cannot really think of, of uh, any special paper. I think there's a, there's a nice body of work in, uh, in some of the, uh, I would say, critical uh, transportation systems that how we see them nowadays, like air transportation or uh, maybe intermodal transportation. But uh, quite frankly, I, I don't have really a paper that I would say, oh yes, this is the paper over the last five years that I'm really proud of. Or uh, let me ask you this, are you seeing any trends in the kinds of uh, papers that you're publishing? Well, there's a definite trend uh, on papers dealing with uh, air transportation, and I would say the organization of air transportation, airspace management, airport management, and in fact yesterday, uh, the paper that won a Best Paper Award from the Transportation Science and Logistics section as society uh, was one uh, that dealt with those issues. So there's been a lot of work in this area. Uh, a lot of work also in developing what uh, some people call integrative models for uh, the operations of airlines. So combining, for example, crew scheduling with uh, maybe airline schedule, uh, air, not airline, but um, aircraft scheduling, and, uh, and, and, and those type of papers. Also, one thing that has been 
important through the last, well, for a certain number of years are uh, papers dealing with so-called intelligent transportation systems, mm. which are have been uh, a, an important trend over the since the in fact the 1990s so trying to to make transportation systems more efficient by better using the resources rather than creating new infrastructures thank you very much professor for joining us thank you and thank you viewers uh, if you'd like to learn more about informs journals please visit us on the web at www.informs.org thank you and good day